Howdy Lumberjacks, uh, I just wanted to show you guys a quick mod update, something I've been working on here for the last little while and I finally kind of got it working so I wanted to kind of give you guys um, a little run through. So I've played with this chopper for the last, um, you know, probably two, three days I've been dinking around with it trying to get it just where I want it and I came across a way that I'm able to haul equipment and uh, trucks and stuff like that. So um, what I did is I put these little hooks on the fronts of both trucks and all the machines that's on the backs of the machines and stuff. Um, this will be coming out in the V12 1.2 update or version 2 update, which will be coming here pretty soon. Um, so all the machines, all the trucks will have these new hooks on the fronts and backs of them. Um, depending on which machine it is, it'll be in a different spot. Some of them I had to get a little creative with. So what I've wanted to do since I finally got the... Um, the chopper up and rolling it's amazing at pulling timber it's amazing at doing pretty much everything uh, that i wanted it to but um i would like to be able to haul equipment with it so i've tried a couple different things i tried using platforms i tried using uh, a couple different locking things and locking scripts for trailers it didn't work at all but i did find a method that does work and uh tyler from jdl logging actually was uh said he experimented it with a bit but they couldn't get it quite 100 percent. so um I was like, oh man, well that's uh, that's probably something we could try. So what I did is I uh, made these little, these little, oops, these little hook points on the front here. Be careful picking up logs, you might go flying. Um, these little hook points on the front, so you can just walk up. Oops, and once I learn how to be depth perception-y, you can just drop them right into that little hook point. You can either get in the vehicle and push L to lock those on the front, or you can just walk up to the front end and hit R on them uh, individually to lock them as well. So now that that guy's locked to the front of the bumper, it's now locked to the truck. Um, I'm not actually able to make like a lock point to attach to. We have to use a bit of wood like this. It's the only way it works right now, but it's still pretty cool. So yeah, now we have our chopper nice and close. You hit B. It now hooks to that front end. And we'll switch to our chopper here. Now before I take off, I usually hit X to release the line as low as I can here. So since the last update, this chopper has uh, gained a lot of weight, so it can pick up some really heavy stuff now. And it's also a little faster and quicker at doing stuff as well. So I usually let it run right to the end of its rope, which isn't super, super long. But that way, the more distance you have from the vehicle, the better. And you see it's starting to lift up there now. Now granted, this stuff on the end of these lines is very, very heavy. And the chopper does not always love that. It starts to turn at angles sometimes. You'll see it kind of shifts around. So you want to take it really easy. Watch your line. You know, check it. Make sure it's not going too crazy. Obviously, in real life, you wouldn't want to haul equipment like this, probably. But in this game, we can do whatever we want. So, But yeah, it does, uh, it does haul equipment this way. And it does seem to work quite well. Like I said, if you start to see your chopper getting a little out of hand, just stop. Keep giving it acceleration to keep it up in the air, but um, ultimately just let it level out. And once it's leveled out, you can uh, keep going with it. And you can also keep an eye on your whatever you're dragging. So like I said, this is attached now to all the machines, all the equipment, everything um, with those hooks. So you can do this on any piece of equipment. I was testing it out on my new map, flying bunchers around and stuff, and it worked like a charm. So um, you could technically fly a buncher out to a remote area with just the chopper, drop it, start cutting, and then uh, put it in there. So then we can just gently, or hopefully gently, put this guy down here. Oops, hopefully not on its head. We should have dropped it on like a flat surface, that probably would have been ideal. Anyway, so she's there now, and then just hit Shift B to disconnect. And that guy is ready to go. I'm just gonna land this kinda on an angle here. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much all there is to it, but yeah, that's that new hook system, and it's actually working quite well. Um, the logs are a little glitchy at times, so you kind of got to fiddle to get them into those spots, but so yeah, like I said, on the backs of uh, the bunchers, anything with tracks, I put them like right on the undercarriage on the backhand side. Uh, on all vehicles like trucks and stuff, I just put hooks on the front, that goes for the skidders, all that kind of stuff as well, so... Um, I think it'll be pretty fun for you guys to test it out. It's going to look a little weird, and it's going to be a little different, but... Uh, I think it'll be uh, interesting to see what people do. Um, also, by having these winches on the front with this bit of wood, um, we can now use that to pull them out. So if we have a line skidder, a chopper, anything we can hook on, drag them out of sinkholes, drag them out of places. So you can just leave that bit of wood attached after you get on there if you really want to. 
If you don't like the way it looks, you can always trim it up a bit, you know, cut off cut off the ends here if you want it to look a little more a little more reasonable. So then you just got that little piece stuck to the front, and it's basically a toe spot now. So anyway, just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, the V2 version 12 uh, 2.0s will be coming out here probably within the next month or so. I've done lots of changes to the machines again since even our V12 public release. Um, it won't be like a big release like the V12 was, but it'll be kind of a just go check it out and fix up your goodies. So anyway, uh, I wanted to show you guys that and hopefully you uh, enjoyed that and I can't wait to see what kind of crazy stuff you guys are going to do. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.